you uh, wake up, you're in a forest. There's kind of big trees and stuff around. You're sleeping on the ground. Um, and you can hear what sounds like some some pee going. And uh, you're pretty sure it's not you. And it, it's just smelling the forest. It smells like um, definitely out in nature. A little bit of urine. Give me a uh, smell roll for more details. I'd rather use willpower not to pee. You're not peeing. You're pretty damn sure it's not you. Are you sure it's not me? <laughs> All right. Uh, I need a... What kind of roll did you just ask for there? If it is you, you've lost complete control of your fucking bladder. <laughs> damn it, not again. Um, all right, what roll is that? What are we looking for? Uh, smell. Smell. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good start. Let's go with... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, probably in nature or something. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> nature. Uh, right. Wake up and look around. No problem. Uh, it looks like you've got like a little campsite. You've got like one of those little um, kind of uh, uh, the lean, the kind of lean tos where you bend a bunch of. Um, yep. Uh, sticks and then pile other sticks on top of it and there's a deer it hasn't noticed you yet because you haven't made any noise you're just kind of looking around peeing up against a tree maybe i don't know 10 feet away does and the deer have any clothing articles on it before i kill someone i know <laughs> take a card no it looks like just a normal wild deer peeing on the tree it's be careful though. It's a buck. It's got its horns and shit. Not a lot of them, but enough. Right. Um. Uh, yeah. Do I feel full like I've eaten recently? You could eat. Hmm. All right. Um. The problem is, by the time you get up. And the deer will hear you and move a lot fucking faster than you do. Unless it fumbles and falls into a fucking tree or something. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything set up that I'm aware of. Um, I uh, Let's see. I will quietly grab my axe. Okay. You're doing the really slow motion thing. The deer's like, ah. <laughs> One of and, then, eyes and, go to... <laughs> and then I will attempt a, uh, hold on a second, let's see. I will attempt a stealth skill to move within murder range. Give me a stealth that have to get up so sneaky a deer doesn't so notice yeah, you. 10% card. Stealth. Submit. Modifier. Plus 10. You pop in the plus, right? You pop in the plus ten. Cool. Yep. You put in the modifier field. It's plus ten, right? Mm-hmm. Well, if it doesn't work, then we'll know. Fumble. What the fuck? No problem. The deer <laughs> runs the fuck off. Uh, I'll give it a rang roll just to see if it fumbles here. Yeah. All right. So. All right. You, no you are as stealthy as a fucking baboon with two club feet. Ah, I didn't remember going to sleep with my fucking boots tied together. Mm. All right. Uh, well, in that case, uh, clean up camp. Make sure I take care of the fire so the entire forest doesn't burn up. And uh, fucking pack up whatever I have to pack up. Uh, get my bearings. Uh, does it look like there's any trails around? There is over there. Um, there's a, in addition to whatever your normal load, what is your normal load out of gear? Uh, normal loadout? I've just been grabbing whatever the fuck I've been coming across this entire time. Axe, trumpet case. Trumpet case and the, uh, backpack with all the camping shit. Yeah, perfect. 
Yeah. You clean up your shit. I believe you've not been here before. I believe you get tarot cards and you also pick up new skills at learn. You don't know why you don't know what they're for, but they're in your brain. Huh? Okay. And let's see the, yeah, just make a note of it somewhere or copy paste that for later. If you ever use them, a lot of people seem to get these and then ignore them. Why? Lazy. So, plus there's a lot of goddamn skills in this game. Um, ah, there it is. The two cards you pick up is the two of wands and the nine of pentacles. Or as they're sometimes known, 2W9P. Okay. Active construction. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Active conjuration. What the fuck? At learn. Sure. Uh, so that is a Oh, yeah. I'll be doing these sometime soon for sure. Mm. The problem is you need something that causes you to be able to use them. Right. No problem. Uh, right. If there's a trail, I fucking... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I keep my axe out. Keep it up on my shoulder. I'm in unfamiliar territory. No problem. Uh, I'm sure you can find a way to attach your tuba case to your backpack. This is a really old growth forest that you're in. In fact, it doesn't look like anything's been cut down for a long fucking time. Okay. I just, I'll keep an eye out and listen and smell, looking for anything strong odors or anything that potentially might get me in trouble. Give me a smell roll. This could be impressive. Not a listen roll, not a spot roll. You heighten your senses. Success. God damn. Yeah. Spot. Success. God right, damn. How's that listen? And it shows all I hear is na 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 um, you making these rolls also give me a stealth lower is better. Because you, you might be just blending into the forest and just pop out. Fail. Unfortunately, you are like a pregnant yak. Um, tell you what, I have fucking points for fun. They're not for fun. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. No. Yeah, nah, fuck it. Nope. All right, so yeah, fail that. I trudge along. I'm on a path. I'm trudging along. I'm not too worried about it. Eventually, you smell people. You hear a caravan. You are surprised by their guards. Ooh. Not uh, terribly surprised. They don't appear to be overly hostile. More like we pop out and look at him real hard. Though they have weapons. None of them are drawn or pointed at you, which is nice. It's an odd change. Uh, these guys are, look like they're dressed. Uh, give me a history roll, kind of the medieval peasant. There's, a, there's, there's that roll first, though. Um, they smile and nod at each other like, oh, good. These guys look pretty fucking scary. They're kind of not because of their size or anything, but because they have a very wolfish type look to each and every one of them. I look forward to the raping. All right, history, you said, right? <laughs> yes. That's a fucking quote. Uh, let's see. History, history. Somewhere around H. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a big skill for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, fucking They're dressed in old-timey clothes. Yeah. Well, you might see it at a run fair. 
Um, let's see. Best way to handle this situation. Do you speak English? One of them goes, and it says something in an unfamiliar language to one of the other ones. Do me a linguistic drill to identify the unfamiliar language. Uh, linguistics. Linguistics. They all seem to be in the eye rolling thing when you try this, by the way. There's no telling what it is. You can go ahead and try a new skill, uh, like a roll at learn to see if you just happen to understand it. Whatever he said. And, and uh, or just pop any skill you don't have any skill in just to see if you have something new to write down. Because you like new skills. They make you happy. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to do that. There we go. Yeah, I have fucking no clue. You have no clue. Uh, the, uh, the very agile men and stuff, they go, something, something, and they gesture down to where you heard. It's, it, in, your, in your mind, you're imagining like horses drawing wagons type noises, and they want you to come with them. They don't seem particularly empathy roll. They are not worried about my weapon. Boop, 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 not boop, even boop, a little boop. bit. Boop, fail. You have no idea. They could be inviting you off to uh, the raping. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> I will follow them. Excellent. Uh, you notice that they have uh, one guy in front of you, two guys behind. Excellent. Mm hmm. It's not at all intimidating and shit because you know as you walk through the forest that you are the scariest motherfucker in the forest. That or I'm just going to wake up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. No matter what happens, lawn darting, getting you know, eaten by a giant slime. No problem. You notice that uh, as, you're, as you're traveling up, you guys come up to uh, the, looks like a caravan uh, maybe 30 wagons, uh, about a half dozen are uh, kind of weird looking wagons. The rest are all like standard, we're hauling a lot of shit. The weird looking wa wagons, like imagine a gypsy caravan with the big box wagons that people probably live in. Right. The, these are heavily fucking guarded and closed up entirely, like boxes on wheels. Uh, with their own drivers and stuff, and a lot of very wary looking guards around each and every one of those uh, six. The rest of the um, uh, wagons, 30 wagons, roughly 60 drovers, same number of guards and shit. They're keeping an eye out, but they don't look especially butt clenchy. Right. Yeah, there's a shit ton of them. Yeah. Gives you a special level of comfort. <laughs> mm hmm. The uh, guards, uh, all everybody seems to be dressed in this kind of. It's kind of Ren fair, but a little bit unusual. Okay. Um, there's also uh, over the wagons. They have a some sort of flag uh, that has a uh, black stylized sun rising over red hills. Black sun, red hills. No snakes facing awesome. each other. Fucking <laughs> clearly, I'm with the good guys. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I continue to march down the road. No problem. Uh, they the uh, guards. Uh, one of them passes you. Like he takes a bite of something and then he offers it to you. Seems to be food of some sort. Sure, sure. I nod my head a bunch. He he uh, takes a drink out of a skin and passes it to you. Sure, sure. That was unexpected. You're used to only getting water in these things. This appears to be some sort of watered wine, kind of a weak okay. ass wine. Okay. It's All right. pretty weak. You doubt you doubt, you think you don't really have to work at it to get drunk. All right. Potentially demons in the water. Got it. Mm -hmm. Um now as you continue with them, you notice the wagons themselves. Even those that have uh, the various goods and stuff have some sort of crude shock absorbers. And as you continue on, you're starting to notice like little 
steampunk touches here and there on the wagons. It's kind of a cross between medieval and steampunk. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. And they just seem to be going down the road. Anyone uh, that walks past me that's new? Mm -hmm. English? Oh, one of, a couple of them know, how y'all doing? They say, and um, that's, yeah, like that. And that's pretty much the limit of uh, uh, the language. Your language. They, they speak in, uh, they babble at you in some strange uh, language that you don't have any idea what it is. Nod, nod and smile. Excellent. Uh, eventually, it looks like night is coming in. Uh, they, you guys have been walking all day. And but the I people keep trudging along until they set up camp. Take a card for knowing how to get along. They 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 seem okay with you with, and um, like they they see that you're keeping an eye on things and all that. They seem pretty happy actually. It's like ah, we picked up a new guard. We don't know who he is. We don't know if we can trust him, but you know, he seems okay. So yeah, they seem they seem okay to just have you trudging along with them. All right. I continue trudging along with them until opportunities <clears throat> change. I keep an eye out. I just keep looking around. I I attempt to listen in on them whenever different ones of them are talking to see if maybe I pick up a piece or something that's recognizable. All right. Let me give you a details on exactly how their clothes look, just in case Tim knows how to identify this shit. And he, yep. Let's see. Uh, there, by the way, the caravan guards, men and women. This is not a men only thing. All right. Mm -hmm. That's their general fashion sense there. It's uh, about the middle down. Are we doing Dutch here? That's a, not a bad guess, but a couple countries off. Hmm. But anyway, eventually, uh, you notice that they it, they should be stopping for making camp, but they seem to be pressing on, and they're keeping a sharp eye on stuff. French? Wow, fucking take two cards, Tim. I'm impressed. It's got the little hat. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move you back to the air page so you can play with cards. I'm impressed that you picked up French. Uh, that's not going to work for me. And what is this thing? Got it. You continue to impress Logan, team. Mm -hmm. And some call you Jim. Yes. All right, there we go. All right. Um. Uh, French, huh? Yeah. But they're uh, not speaking in French. You would know if they were speaking in French, because everybody can go. Is that French? This is a weird, fucked up language they're speaking. More right. fucked up than French, which destroyed the English language. Berlin Francais. Nope. Hmm. All right. Um, they have no idea. One of them babbles and points at the trees and makes signs like, look at the trees. Nod and, and smile, he, baby. And then he Nod goes, and smile. I give him the, I have no idea what you're saying, look. Mm -hmm. uh, they, people are starting to get torches and stuff out and like keeping an eye on the trees, although they're careful not to light any on fire. Yeah, eventually. Jack's fucking handy and start looking around with them. Okay, guy offers you a lit torch. I I, I look at my axe, it's fucking two-handed. Like, yeah, 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 he says, no problem. Eventually, there's like... A, I move imagine, towards someone who has a torch. Okay. Imagine if somebody took a bunch of pieces of red cloth, like mm -hmm. longer than this, tied them in the trees and said, I want pieces of this tied every five feet, go in a line that way forever. 
and then did it. And then on the other side of the path, same thing. Okay, they that's find not these, safe area. They find these and they go, oh, and they seem to, they relax just a little bit when all the wagons are on the other side of these. Weird. Mm -hmm. And eventually they pull up to uh, what appears to be a old camping place that, all right. that looks like it's been used many times on, on this side of the okay. uh, cloth things. And over I settle down. Are they are they starting to settle down or no? Yep. Before, and before they over, do. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Overhead, you see the night sky, and uh, do you have a uh, space time distortion maxed out? Maxed? No, that is not maxed out. All right, go ahead and give me a little Sandy Rose. The three moons rise. Yeah, that was bound to happen. All right. Uh, yeah, that was bound to happen. Just waiting for it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty wild. You go, hey, too far away to affect me. Fuck you. And you go about your business. <laughs> There's a picture of it on the upper right of you. Let's, let's find that. One of them has the big Saturn ring on it, which is very cool. Upper right. You said upper right, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, there's the French. Yeah, Double they're at the, the bottom. Scroll to the right. Ah, there we go. Oh, nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. some, some guy walks up next to you, puts his hand on your shoulder, looks up, and he says something incomprehensible, looks at you and nods, and then goes about, uh, and then he hands you a bunch of fucking... Uh, uh, he hands you a big mallet and goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I start helping uh, set the pins for the tents then, if that's what they want me to do. It's exactly correct. Yes, take a card for completely anticipating all of their moves. Uh, they they seem to they seem okay with you. Like, well, oh, this motherfucker does all kinds of shit. Yes, he knows what's up. Here, I'll move it backward. And so uh, you help them uh, set the, uh, the pins and stuff for the tents. And once full night is upon you, you notice that the freaky looking wagons uh, open and their passengers get out. Their right. passengers are dressed like this. Oh boy. Right, oh let's, boy. Let's see, what do we find here? Uh, down near the other. Aha. Ah, okay. we have found the pooftas. They're all extremely pale, thin, uh, mm -hmm. with fucking hungry uh, eyes, mm -hmm. and uh, they glide about effortlessly. Right. Completely ignore the fuck out of them and try to stay away from them. Um, <laughs> Sadly, that doesn't seem to be an option, as uh, one of the guys brings uh, the guy who... Well, oh, sorry. Um, I'm off to my nephew's birthday party. Um, right. The only thing I ask that you remember is the dinosaurs and the cars and stuff. They're for him, not for you. And I know. I can't promise anything. <laughs> He's not even going to get a chance. But no. I, if I end up having a few drinks with my stepbrothers, brothers. Yeah, um, all good. I'll let you know either way. It, it, um, come say, come say. It doesn't uh, matter. Yeah. yeah. I'll just say no, because then you can kind of I'm going to do the cat thing anyway. Right. Don't worry about the cat. Right. If I find it, I'll kill it. I mean, see ya. Have a good time. <laughs> Fuck yes. All right. Ciao. Hmm. Right. He has, a, he has a nephew who's into dinosaurs and cars, and he found a fucking racetrack that comes with dinosaurs. Is he five or six years old? Exactly. He'll love it. Yep. I fucking love it. And the dinosaurs will try to kill the cars, and the cars will try to kill the dinosaurs. Yep. It's a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he brings over uh, the one of the guards who originally found you, who looks very wolfish, brings <laughs> over um, uh, this very attractive lady who's super pale. Like, she's never seen a day in the sun. 
or as a gamer or computer program or something like that. And I, she comes over and tries talking to in whatever strange language that they have. And the guy looks at her and goes, blah, blah, blah. How you all doing? Yuck, yuck. And she goes, like, I can't fucking believe it. And she goes, mm. she uh, talks to somebody else who brings her a little mini desk that you put on your uh, lap and um, uh, looks like brown paper kind of. Right. You know, irregularly cut like vellum, quill, pen, some sort of weird coin thing that doesn't seem to be made from precious metal. Um, and she writes a note in whatever strange language th that they have. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she, she, uh, whenever she gets close to me, her. I do the one hand behind my back and then nod forward. Hmm. Uh, give me an etiquette roll as you express your manners. Then I throw up on her shoes. And then fuck Here them in the submission. Here we go. Holy fuck. Oh, my it's God. A she looks impressed that you're at your etiquette, yes. Um, she, she I look impressed to myself. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> I really thought you'd bend her over the wagon. And <gasps> Nor son of uh, the fighters have given me one of their women for the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, yeah, she gives you a note. Uh, she wraps the the uh, coin into the note and then. Um, gives it to you, and she goes, hmm. and she goes back to her stuff, whatever the fuck she does to keep herself occupied. Oh, look, her and her friends are drinking a lot of red liquid out of glasses. I'm sure it's wine. Right. Um, I don't really do the water thing. Right. Well, uh, I will set up uh, my tent uh, not right in front of any one of theirs, but like off to the side, but in the pack of tents. They, they, are, they are okay letting you into their pack and try to fail me a spot hidden roll at uh, uh, full. Bow. Yeah, by half. You see a couple of guys go off to where they think they're not observed while you're setting up your tent. They get mm -hmm. butt naked. Mm -hmm. And then give me a sandy roll because they turn into big fucking wolves. Takes them a while, like about a minute or something as you're like trying to pound in the tent stake of your tent and not hit your hand repeatedly. Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, <laughs> fucking wolves. All right. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. All right. One one point uh, toward uh, werewolf, okay. and then they head off into the forest. You keep your head down, put your tent up. Everybody else seems very cool to you. They they bring you over to the fire. They um. It looks like they have different guards that are on duty, including some on four legs, apparently. And uh, they, they uh, sit around and uh, sing songs and tell stories. And God, you wish you could understand them, but they give you uh, 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 some light amount of alcohol, including the, the watered uh, wine and stuff that seems to be one of their drinks, as right. well as... Uh, uh, plenty of food and stuff. So they definitely treat you, uh, you know, pretty well. All right. Uh, right. Like dudes are super wolfish looking for reasons. Yeah, yeah, I know why. Uh, Weird. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. it's no... What's, it's just what does this max thing. out at? Uh, like 12 or more, I'm not sure. It's either 12 or uh, 16. Oh, I'll go with the high one for now. All right. Um, right. Uh, I suppose I will. <laughs> um, hmm. Werewolves, you say? Um, well, you're pretty sure that the air guys are 
probably vampires or think they're vampires. Right. Um... <laughs> but they're all very cool to you. Nobody's making any bite bite motions to you. Give me an empathy roll to see what's... Oh, and you've got the weird note with the coin thing inside of it in, in your thing. You don't know what that's all about because you can't read. <laughs> you never learn to read. So if nobody signed up for next Thursday, we could restart there. Whenever, whenever Ralph pops in. Uh, goddamn. All right, crit. That's pretty goddamn good. Yeah, nobody bears you any ill will. If you start some shit, they'll fucking finish you. Right, 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 right. As long as you're not doing that. Well, clearly, they've run into like, PCs before. Um, hmm. Yeah, or or just like, hey, it's a traveler on the road. He doesn't seem to be part of a bandit party. We could be cool to him because we are coming from a position of overwhelming strength. So yep. let's feed him, give him some alcohol, and let him hang with us. Let's see. What can I do? Uh, do they have any water skins anywhere? Plenty. A lot. Like a lot. Like more than yeah. they need. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, are there any kids around? No. They've eaten them all. Okay. Um, so much for that idea. Uh, da, 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 da. Throw the water skin over a kid's head. <laughs> <laughs> and then the little spouts like eating a corn horn. <laughs> and then you release him into the forest and have the pack on him. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> I'm not sure why that's so funny. All right. There you go. Um, hmm. Is yeah, there they, they anyone... Is the ah? Is there anyone working on doing any kind of repairs of either wagons or metal pieces or anything like that? No, there's uh, some uh, minor sewing stuff going on. Mm -mm. Uh, right. Um, yeah, I just keep walking around trying to find somebody who speaks English. Um, oh no, you, you've checked out the wagon. Okay. Everybody has been, uh, um, you know. Bullshit. Ah. Uh, I go up to a guy. There we go. I point at my axe. I point at a tree. Nah, dude. I, I, he, he motions. He want, they want you just to sit down and relax for some reason. Hmm. All right. Fuck it. I sit down and relax. I don't like sitting down and relaxing. I look for something to do. Um, you could suck his cock, I suppose. I... Not everyone's hobbies are the same, sir. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Um, <laughs> huh. I suck your dick. Yeah. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I go check out some of the plants along the edge of the woods. Right. They have a dude with a torch follow you. Uh, you're not sure why, but he, he keeps glancing around and shit. Like, mm. Good, good. Um, um, I check sure, out the give plants. Me a, give me a herbalism lore. Can I go with botany? Sure. Hmm. Excellent. All right. Uh, by a quarter. Yeah, you find some that you, know, you think would make excellent dyes. Excellent. I collect those up. You got red dye, red dye, and the guy's like, ah, da, 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 da. he says, well, well that's good. Uh, clearly, someone. He's trying to motion that you should not eat them. You know this already, but he's trying to convince you not to eat them. I nod and smile and shove them all in my mouth. No. <laughs> 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 Joseph doing CPR on you. <laughs> Rip, damn it. Rip. <laughs> How did he survive this you, you guy, no, I no. told him not to do it. He immediately shoved them all in his mouth. He even nodded like he knew. Um, <laughs> Suicides again. No. Oh, Jesus, these new people. <laughs> How do y'all... Uh, um, I mean, you're going to need some iron stuff to make these into dye, obviously. You're going to have fine. to, uh, like, pound the juice out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm just 
keeping them for potential barter items if I run in an actual town of these fucking things. Um, I, uh... Shit, there's nobody to talk to, really, because I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, yeah. I, I They're any... trying to tell you not to eat the berries. Yeah, yeah, I nod, I nod, I nod. I put them away. Um, oh, uh, I don't know if they've seen one of these. They might have fun with one of these. Uh, I will use... I pull out one of my glow sticks. I don't know if they have this technology here or not. And I crack it and shake it up. And start just, you know, flailing around, holding it up. Right. Um, they nod and smile at you. I give it to the biggest fucking gruffiest looking one that found me. And he nods and smiles. He will. He wears it around his neck like he's at a fucking rave. Had a boy. All right, I go sit down. Um, Unless you're wanting to do anything, I mean, they're not calling yeah. on you to do anything. And I fucking grab some grub and relax. It burns your ass to do so, but eventually, you know, you go off to your tent. You get a good night's sleep. Nobody kills and eats you, which is always a plus. And uh, yeah, open my uh, eyes, look around. It's morning again. I'm um, not on the surface of the sun. Good start. All right. Ah, Ralph is getting Ralph is getting his kid set up. I have just enough time to get you to the town, and then you can fade into a different reality, which is something that good. happens to you. No problem. Now you're going to love the town. I look for a big board or something or sign that shows the name of the town uh it doesn't seem to have one but you're pretty sure you'll remember this town and plus one of the guys with you pointed at it i'll mm -hmm. just show you a couple pictures it's not all like this and it's a lot bigger than this but you should be able to see the pictures in the upper left and express your hatred of logan oh it my god they're fucking werewolf ewoks <laughs> uh, um, when they get near the town, does anyone point and say a word? Bleakmere. Bleak. Bleakmere. Bleakmere. Hold on, let me put in the uh, link for these guys. I'll give you a uh, description of it here in a sec. Beast. Send. Oh, shit. Um, the, right. de the description real quick. Let's see if I can fucking get this in. Immediately cut down the largest tree with, looks to be the one that holds the entire town up. No, sorry. Go ahead. Hooray. Uh, it, it, My you, brother, well, you've got back. He cuts down trees. You, you've played EverQuest in the past. Uh, a long fucking time ago. Um, you remember the, uh, wood elves? They all lived up on these big platforms in the trees and shit. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's much like that, and just like those cocksuckers, there doesn't appear to be like any kind of uh, things to keep people from falling off and shit. Uh, sure, sure. Where the fuck is the description? Make sure I walk toward the center of the bridges and walkways. Mm hmm. Ah. There's, there's a lot of interesting shit. I don't think we'll get to it before they come in. But essentially, there's there's paths coming in from the east, south, and the west. You came in from the east. Right. I point at no my axe. North. I, the, I want to accomplish this if it's possible. I point at my axe and look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he says, and he goes... <laughs> On your head. I pointed his sword. Mm -hmm. Pointed somebody else's weapon. Mm -hmm. Pointed my axe. Mm -hmm. I pull out a bag of coins and go chink, chink, chink with the coins. Oh, yeah, um, he takes you. He takes you over the the caravans and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, 
it doesn't look like there's any structures on the ground. They have like magical, maybe elevators that go up, but eventually, um, oh boy. One of the guards in really halting English tells you that uh, there's a translator uh, that you can hire who will come down and talk to you. And excellent, you know, uh, you'll, you'll get his name though. I'll give you his name so that you can remember for next time Puddlefoot. Puddlefoot. Uh huh. Right, and I take a look at the coin wrapped in the paper. I uh, it it's one of those uh, medallion type things that uh, it doesn't look like a spending coin. It looks like uh, uh, you wear it. Well, you could, I suppose. Medallion coin thing, and what's the note written in? Their wacky language. Uh huh. Because nothing's ever fucking easy. Awesome. 